Hello viewers, today I am going to install Android 12 on my Huawei P20 Lite which is running EMUI 9.1 latest version. Uh, viewers, uh, you should uh, obtain the bootloader code before trying this uh, installation. The first thing we need to do is uh, get the SD card, micro SD card inside phone with at least 8 GB free storage and then you need to enable OEM unlock in developer options if your phone is already bootloader unlocked then you don't need to do this because it will be already enabled once OEM unlock is enabled you need to switch off your phone power off your phone and then hold volume down key and then insert the cable or connect with PC and your phone should enter fast boot mode and here you can see phone is showing locked we need to unlock the bootloader in order to unlock the uh, unlock this uh, phone lock I have already obtained the bootloader code for my phone viewers this code is not free and different for every phone you need to get for your phone okay well, I have copied the code and we will open the minimal ADB interface here and uh, type the command fastboot space OEM space unlock space and paste the code then press enter when you will press enter a warning screen will appear on phone screen where you need to use volume up key to select yes and then press power button to confirm your decision and your bootloader will be unlocked viewers this step will wipe all data on your phone so make backup before doing anything phone is just rebooting after factory reset okay once phone rebooted you need to select files transfer mode uh, on your phone and uh, then we will uh, move to computer uh, on computer you need to copy these four zip files we will, I will provide the link for these files in description of this video okay you can go to my website and from there you can download these files okay uh, I think my phone is not visible maybe some drivers issue so I will fix the drivers if your phone is not visible after selecting the transfer transfer uh, files mode make sure you check the drivers in device manager of uh, your PC and fix the MTP drivers okay then you uh, your phone will be uh, visible okay drivers are fixed now you need to copy these four zip files in uh, your uh, micro SD card viewers I will uh, delete these files because I don't need you can make a separate folder with any name I will make the uh, I have a deload folder so I will copy these four zip files inside uh, this uh, folder inside the deload folder and uh, you can copy it anywhere but it's good if you uh, make separate folder okay and uh, we are going to copy this arrow OS uh, which is based on Android 12.1 so uh, I will give you link in description uh, you can download from the link in description this image can also be downloaded okay once uh, we have copied the ROM and those uh, patches uh, we need to verify if uh, they are showing on SD card okay these files are there so we need to power off phone and disconnect from PC okay we are going to connect in fast boot mode again just simply hold volume down key and insert the cable and phone should enter fast boot mode viewers you need to hold a uh, volume down key for a little longer otherwise phone will not uh, enter fast boot mode and now it should enter fast boot mode okay now we can see phone is showing unlocked because bootloader is unlocked now we are able to uh, flash uh, custom recovery on our phone we will uh, flash uh, using command fastboot space flash space recovery underscore ram disk space and then simply drag and drop twrp recovery on this uh, screen 
and press enter flashing completed now you need to disconnect your phone from computer and hold volume up and power key simultaneously we will keep holding these two buttons for at least 15 to 20 seconds until you see that screen where it says your device has been unlocked and cannot be trusted a shorter message will appear this is the correct message okay this shorter one if uh, your phone shows the three options that means you failed to uh, hold the buttons properly you need to repeat everything again okay uh, phone is in twrp recovery mode um, swipe to allow modifications and uh, then you need to tap on wipe we are going to uh, tap on advanced wipe and there we are going to wipe uh, the system partition, internal storage, data, cache and Dalvik cache, okay. We will wipe all uh, these partitions, the first uh, five partitions we are going to wipe. It, uh, okay, it is done. Now we need to uh, resize the system partition because maybe the image file is larger than the partition size so we need to resize it then we will tap on install go to our external SD storage uh, where we have copied uh, our ROM uh, open the external SD and there in deload folder we have uh, tap on install image to see the ROM and uh, select this arrow OS and uh, then choose system image partition okay don't flash in another partition and swipe to flash now this uh, flashing process is going to take uh, two to three minutes okay uh, rom is flashed now we need to go back don't reboot okay tap on install and uh, one by one flash uh, these patches these zip files you need to f uh, install all of them some of them are uh, gps uh, fixes and some are hotspot and nfc fixes we was uh, before installing the g apps if you don't need g apps you can simply reboot but if you want to install g apps you must resize the system again okay because there is no space left on system storage so after resize we will install the light g apps for android 12.1 
now this is the only version that worked uh, with this rom i have tested other versions but they did not work so make sure you uh, you install this version i will provide uh, the link okay you can go to my website and from there you can download these files okay uh, now it is extracting the uh, gapps so you will get uh, the basic uh, uh, google uh, services with this uh, installation like play store uh, and google services other things you can download um, by yourself uh, after booting to uh, the rom okay okay flashing done now you need to tap on reboot system do not install twr v app okay now uh, this uh, first boot uh, will take uh, some time uh, we was uh, the, the thing i have noticed uh, uh, the phone did not uh, uh, show uh, did not show the initial configuration setup uh, in android 12 i don't know what why is that or uh, the android 12 works like this way but uh, this rom straight away boot to the home screen uh, there is no initial uh, setup no, no initial configuration uh, for this rom so i don't know why because uh, i'm not the developer of this rom and uh, i'm not uh, sure this uh, rom is 100 percent compatible with this phone and um, this uh, uh, this video is just for the uh, experimental purpose uh, if you want to experience the android 12 on your huawei p20 Lite, then you can uh, try it okay i'm not sure it is going to work 100 uh, percent there will be bugs there because this rom is not uh, specially designed for huawei p20 Lite. this is a gsi uh, rom which is uh, uh, you know uh, for all the travel enabled uh, devices so it is a you can say it is a general uh, rom which will work on any device okay uh, we are inside uh, the system inside the rom and the first thing you need to connect is uh, is connect wi-fi so wi-fi is connected and uh, now we will check few things if wi-fi is there bluetooth is there uh, network is working so the basic functions are working
viewers uh, like uh, other um, GSI ROMs the only drawback of using this ROM is that you cannot charge your phone while it is powered off so never let your phone die the battery the never let your phone's battery die okay never let it reach zero percent uh, because uh, in uh, you will not be able to charge the battery while phone is off you can actually charge it but uh, you know it will take longer time uh, to uh, store the battery you can see when you connect the charger while phone is off it will show you this message and then screen will turn off there will be no um, uh, uh, you know uh, signs of life so once you flash GSI ROM your phone cannot uh, charge but if by mistake your phone uh, turns off after uh, the battery uh, drain out so you need to connect your phone with charger and then you need to hold volume up and power key you need to keep holding uh, for at least 15 to 20 seconds and your phone should enter uh, e recovery mode there you can see uh, the battery charging percentage you can also uh, if cable is connected you cannot enter uh, e recovery okay it will boot to recovery mode which is twrp recovery so you can also charge in recovery mode uh, otherwise you can uh, see the battery percentage in e recovery so no charge when phone is turned off thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future